Hey guys, Nate here. Uh, today, I'm going to show you some really cool items from the new Scream film, Scream 2022. Some people like to refer to it as Scream 5, but all of us that have seen the movie now know why it's not called Scream 5. Uh, there's a very, very uh, meta reason behind that. Um, I am going to be also posting my personal review for Scream 2022 this weekend. Um, might even pop up today, today or tomorrow. Um, it is going to be a spoiler review, so if you haven't seen the film yet, just a heads up, my review will be a spoiler review. It'll say that in the title too, so not trying to trick anybody here, but just a heads up. Okay, so what do I have to show you from the new film? Couple things. Nothing huge, nothing major, still working on a couple things, so I will have some videos in the future um, with some other items from the film. Um, again, nothing major right now, but again, you know, the film just came out. Um, there's some stuff going on, that's, that's really all I can say. Um, but I can finally share with you a few things that I do have. Um, so, as most of you know... I was brought on, once again, as a consultant for the film in regards to the look of Ghostface, especially with this being a completely new team this time. Um, once again, they did not have an access to the costume. Um, and with it literally being a completely new team, the prop department, the wardrobe department, they literally had to start from scratch. You know, they didn't have any anything to work with that uh any materials from the previous films um not even from four uh so they really had to start from scratch so rj torbert thank you cannot thank you enough for uh bringing me on to help uh production with the look of ghostface in scream 2022 so the first thing i want to show you guys is what is in here so this is a Scream 2022 mask. Now, what type of mask is this? This is a special mask that was produced from the same molds that the special masks were made from for uh, Scream 4 back in 2011. However, this mask was produced with different quality uh, materials for the mask itself, um, different quality paint job, um, and the hood material is also completely different. And actually the hood design um, is different, which I never even noticed until Douglas at Drown Boy Productions uh, pointed out to me that even the hood design was different on this. Now, this mask um, I did receive directly from Fun World. Um, it does come with a letter of authenticity signed by RJ Torbert with a little personalized note to me there. Um, and then the, uh, uh, the paragraph here just stating that this is one of the masks that was sent to set of the film. Um, and then after filming, per Fun World's request, a handful of the masks that were sent to set were sent back for... Uh, promotional reasons, giveaways, giving them to people that helped out on production. Um, so, yeah, this is one of those masks. Um, there were a handful of other people that got masks. Um, I was the only one that got this particular style, which, as it turns out, as we've watched the film, this is the style that's mostly seen and used in the film. Um, there are obviously a couple of different styles of masks used in the film, um, but this one seems to be at least the one that was used most prevalently. Now, when I say the one, I don't literally mean this physical mask that I'm holding here is like the main mask that was used all throughout the film. That's not what I'm saying at all. So don't jump the gun. I'm not claiming this is something that it's not. Um, what I'm saying is that there were a handful of different versions slash styles of the ghost face mask that was sent to set some were used some weren't used at all there were certain styles that never appear in the film such as the ultra white there were ultra white sent to set we know that due to some behind the scenes photos 
Um, but the ultra whites never appear in the film at all. Um, they also sent some hard plastic masks and the chrome style 25th anniversary silver anniversary ghost face mask, which um, those were used in the film, but only for the scenes from stab one and uh, from uh, stab eight. So those style of masks were only used for the stab films. And then, as I said, there are, are probably about three different versions of the soft uh eu vinyl uh deluxe type masks that uh were sent to set and those were the styles used in the film but the primary styles that were used were this type right here this one right here and the um the scream resurrection style mask which funnily enough there's actually a good chance that uh, some of the shots of Ghostface wearing a Scream Resurrection style mask is actually a Scream Resurrection mask like Scream used from the TV show season three and then ended up using in Scream 2022. Now, I can't confirm this. I can't verify it by any means. But the information that we do have is that um, per the contract with Fun World, after Scream Resurrection wrapped, uh, production was to send most of if not all of the masks back to fun world which they did and a majority of those masks were sent later years later to uh the production for scream 2022 so there's a good chance that when you see a scream resurrection style mask in scream 2022 that it's actually a mask that was used in the tv show so fun little bit of info there again can't say for 100 percent, just that there's a good chance um but yeah this special deluxe style with a very different style hood than we've ever seen before um and a very interesting thickness but very pliable as you see mass quality and you can see that in the film you can see there's a lot of shots like from the side where you can see the chin looks exactly like that it's got this little divot here and this little this little curve right there and the chin's not terribly long it's only like that long um, very stiff looking, but still very pliable. You see that a lot in the film. Um, so yeah, so here it is guys. This is a genuine Scream 2022 mask directly from Fun World with a letter of authenticity stating as such. Thank you again for this RJ and thank you again for getting me involved with production of Scream 2022. Now, what else do I have to show you? Again, Nothing huge, but two smaller things, but very awesome. I'm finally able to share this with everybody. This is so cool. So having helped the costume designer, uh, Emily, on making sure that Ghostface looked correct and looked good um, in this film, um, one of the things that she sent me as a thank you was a, ni a nice little thank you note here. It's kind of personal to me, so I'm not going to... Nothing, nothing that you can't see. It's just a personal note um, from her to me. But what is this personal note written on? What, what did she write this on? So this is on a card that she actually... This is her production sketch of Ghostface. So this is the Scream 2022 Ghostface production sketch. This is hand-drawn hand colored in um it's got her little signature there and it kind of shows you the difference in the streamers there um the streamers were changed on the costume um the logistics behind that was basically just that um emily felt that after all this time, there would probably be minor changes made to the costume in the Scream universe, which I completely agreed with. Um, but yeah, so this is it. This is Emily's production sketch. This is her first production sketch of Ghostface. <sighs> right around the time, right before they started shooting, I've had this. So this is the very first design drawing of Ghostface for Scream. 2022 so very awesome i'm so happy to have this in my collection i cannot wait to have it framed 
And the second thing that I get to show you guys, again, small but very significant, especially to some of you robe makers out there. Um, so here is a wardrobe tag from the film. And as you see, it says Scream 5 Hero Ghost Face Fabric. So this is a swatch of the screen used hero fabric used for the ghost face costume. So here it is, guys. This is exactly the fabric that was used to make the costumes in the film. Um, I think it's perfect, personally. It is very different from the fa fabric used in Scream 1 through 4. Obviously, it's the same general concept. It's the sparkle material, uh, but still very different for a few reasons. Um, very, very, very cool. Very lucky to have this swatch. Um, and that's it guys. So yeah, very cool. Very happy to have these pieces from Scream 2022 in my collection. So I will have that Scream review coming maybe later today, but probably tomorrow. Uh, so please check it out. And if you want to uh, continue to see more Scream videos, let me know by liking, commenting, uh, and please follow and subscribe. And that's it, guys. See you next time.